I want to show another example with dictionaries. So let us create a program for dict.py illustrate or loop with dictionaries. I know we briefly introduced you to uh, dictionaries, but we really didn't go um, much in detail at that point in time. So let us quickly revisit um, dictionaries. Okay. So I let me have a variable. Let me define a variable called dict, and I need to assign a dictionary data type. Um, so let's the dictionary data type will look like this: something within curly braces. And then you will have a sequence of key and values. So let me have a key like name and the value maybe sham, and then the next item in the sequence will be say city, and the value will be say Kalu. And note that between key and value, I have this colon. Okay, that's how we separate a key from the value. And individual elements in the dictionary will be separated by a comma. So let me add a couple more items in the sequence. And the state then Value can be TN, then the country, and then the value, or that can be India. So this is a dictionary. As I mentioned, a dictionary will uh, will uh, start and end with the curly braces, and you can have one or more items within the dictionary, and each will have a key and a value pair. So key and value pairs will be separated by a colon, and each item will be separated from one another with a comma. Okay, so this is a dictionary, and to access the individual elements of a dictionary, use dict that's the variable name dot get. And then within the the get is a function, and it can take an argument which can be a key. So if I give one of the keys from the dictionary, say name, and this will provide this will provide me the value, the corresponding value for this key. Okay, that's how you access a dictionary. To access the value for a specific key, you use the get function of the dictionary. So for uh, for the dictionary variable, you suffix it with the get function, and then as an argument, you provide the key for which you want the value for. And then we can print this out. Print, and let's quickly run this program. Okay, so we are able to get the value here. Let's go back to the program. Another way to access the value for a key is like this. You can give the variable name for the uh, dictionary item, and then you put a square bracket, and within that you provide the key. So in this example again, it will be name and with this again you will be able to get the value of the key called name so let me print it out let's re-execute the program so we should find um, two records on the output both having the value shan, one coming from the get function and another coming with the representation like this, decked within square brackets of name. So this also should give you the same value shan. So let's execute this. Okay, so the result is as expected. Let us go back to the program and let us make use of the for loop now. And and to uh, remind you again, the for loop works with a sequence, right? So in this case, we have got a dictionary, and dictionary is nothing but a sequence of key value pairs. 
okay so which means i can make use of the for statement for for every element in the dictionary this the variable dict the colon so what does this statement do for every element so this is one element right and this is another element for every element it will assign the it will assign the um, it will assign that element to the el em variable okay so unlike a list where you just got directly the values here you got both a key and a value pair so what really gets assigned to el em it is actually the key so for every iteration the key gets assigned to the variable here elem so in the first iteration the name will get assigned here and in the next iteration the city will get assigned here and in the next iteration the state and then the country so only the key values get assigned to the variable over here in the for statement so if i want to execute some statements for every iteration i need to indent this and let us say i want to access both the key as well as the value for that key so how do i do that so print the key is then will be the key we said that the key is what gets assigned to elem right so you can just type elem here and then we want the corresponding we want the corresponding value for this key let me continue on the same line so i'll put another comma and the value is put a comma and how do i get the value corresponding to this key so in the first iteration i said the key is going to be name and in the second iteration it will be city and so on so this elem the first iteration is going to take the value of name now that we have the key how do we access the value same like what we have done here so you do a dictionary dot get and then you provide the key right so we can use the same thing dictionary dict dot get and within get we need to provide the key so what is the key here so we cannot hard code it we cannot hard code name here why because in the next iteration again it will use the name but we want the name only on the first iteration in the next iteration it should get the value city so make use of elem so because in every iteration elem is going to hold different keys so here i will say elem hope you are able to follow this and we can save this okay i can remove these two lines do need this let's execute this program on or dict.py so as you can see it has executed the loop four times one for each of the key value pairs so we had four key value pairs one for the name one for the city one for the state and one for country you can see that it was able to correctly um, get you the the key as well as the value for the corresponding um, key hope this is clear and before we conclude the example with dictionaries um, i will quickly show you the other way to access the value which is through the um, dict and within square brackets you can provide the key name right so you can provide the key name here again elem so um, again i can say the key is and it will be elem and the value is uh, it is pretty much the same thing i am just showing another way to access the value of a, for a given key so one method is to use the get function to get the value the other method is to you know uh, access it like a kind of a, um, however you access a list with an index so instead of the index number he the, we here we just provide the uh, key value here so by providing like dict uh, within square bracket we give the key um, it retrieves 
the value so i can save this let's re-execute the program so you can see that it is repeated one using the get function other using the square bracket hope this is very clear